हेलो एवरी वन सो वेलकम बैक टू नीड टू डॉक्टर दिस इज श्रुति अहुजा थर्ड ईयर एम बी बी एस स्टूडेंट एट जी एम सी एट चंडीगढ़ सो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एम बी बी एस एग्जाम सो वॉट इज द शेड्यूल पैटर्न एंड द प्लानर बिकॉज इफ यू आर न्यू टू द फर्स्ट ईयर एंड हैव जस्ट ज्वाइंड यू मस्ट बी सो अनसर्टेन अबाउट वॉट इज द शेड्यूल वेन विल दे टेक द टेस्ट एंड हाउ विल दे टेक द टेस्ट एंड यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड दैट ह्यूज परसेंटेज ऑफ पीपल फेल इन देयर फर्स्ट एग्जाम्स इंटरनल असेसमेंट्स ऑफ एम बी बी एस दिस इज ट्रू बट आई डोंट थिंक सो दैट यू विल बी द वन हु विल फेल बिकॉज आई नो यू आर द वन हु विल बी हु इज सीरियस फॉर योर स्टडीज एंड ऑल बिकॉज दैट्स वाई यू आर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड यू विल वर्क हार्ड एंड देर इज नो पॉइंट ऑफ फेलिंग इफ यू वर्क हार्ड इफ यू डोंट वर्क हार्ड इफ यू डोंट राइट much content in their paper then obviously the teachers have a reason to fail you right so let's start first of all a disclaimer it is very very college specific some colleges may take uh, like 2 to 3 internal assessments in a year or they may take 5 to 6 internal assessments so the number the pattern is like very college specific right so in our college what used to take place is first year in first year like in atme after every chapter like lower limb upper limb abdomen head and neck thorax there was a stage stage means internal assessment right so or you can say a unit exam so that would take place around 1.5 to 2 month frequency why so because when uh, it takes a time it takes much time to complete a chapter for example if upper limb uh, is a like significant uh, significantly large chapter because or uh, then a separate exam can be taken on upper limb but lower limb is a small chapter and thorax is also a small chapter so they would sometimes combine it and that is why the frequency of 1.5 to 2 months is there right so um in what is there in that exam theory and practical so in theory uh we have uh, many types of questions it is again college specific um like in our college we used to have the diagram based questions you have the short notes which are the five mark questions and long answer questions which we usually have the sub parts the sub parts and the total long answer question is 10 marks one so um it used to be 80 marks paper and practical is separate separate uh, like uh, weightage and all right and sometimes it can be 100 marks also uh, usually it is like in send ups only you will um, used to get a like proper exam feel exam what is send up okay let me tell you uh, when you are done with your syllabus and before one month before your uni final uh, university exams university exams are like board exams okay uh, and you get a degree for that Uh, university exam, right? So one month before the university exam, you have a like pre-board type of exam, which is called send up, uh, sent up, whatever, or pre-university. So in that pre-university exam, you have a uh, like full syllabus, just like in your final exam, you have full syllabus and uh, part A, part B. The anatomy is divided into two parts, part A and part B, and you have uh, like. Uh, the exam is on separate days so you get uh, ample amount of time to complete the syllabus and give the exam so that is the pre university exam and the send up exam is just a replica of the final exam to give you exam like feel and to help you boost your preparation and let me tell you that pre university exam has the maximum uh, like weightage in the internal assessments so even if you are short in your internal assessment throughout the year you can fulfill that in the pre university but wait please don't depend on that try to complete it beforehand only so uh, before coming to biochem and physio i would like to tell you that check out the description because um i have found a channel or uh, you can see a group on the telegram where you can uh, get the medical content at very affordable prices so you can check the description and buy the content as per your discretion so next is biochem and physiology biochem um, in our college had two to three internal assessments throughout the year yes i know that is very less so and many people you uh, did a uh, 
couldn't complete their internal assessments and were short um, in that right so to compensate that many a times um, they are like many extra internal assessments are kept um, the send up exam is also evaluated in the internal assessment so don't worry uh, just stay consistent never miss a exam any exam in uh, your mbbs like whichever year you are okay because when you will miss a exam then you will get uh, like the denominator would increase right but the numerator will be zero here i hope you understand basic maths right so that would affect your percentage drastically and it would be like very difficult to compensate right so next is uh, the two to three internal assessments and plus send ups and like two practicals which were conducted separately um other than this you also have competencies competency and tutorials these also have marks 10 10 marks or something like that um, in the internal assessment the competencies are things like you have to complete all the competencies uh, these are like just activities um and something like practical exam type stuff only and you have to get them signed and completed uh, to give the final exams this is also very easy you if you are not able to complete it in one go then you have multiple um, recurrences also next is physiology it was also like chapter wise only after cns after uh, the muscle and general physiology after every chapter we used to have a physiology exam that is internal assessment that was like uh, somewhat easier and uh, practical um, practical it was there in the mid terms but not in every internal assessment right so in mid terms also what do you get in physiology practical is it is ospi uh, the ospi is like spotting type of stuff in uh, one minute uh, there are like 10 to 20 spots it is variable and in one minute you have to write read the question and write the answer those are very like small one word answers and all kind of stuff but um, once you will give first exam of ospi you will get trained and accustomed to it so um, ospi is there the viva is there the activities and practicals are there in the uh, practical exam of physiology and chapter wise uh, like i told you and theory exam is just like the questions and all you just like a uh, start studying you will get to know of more things and you will have more specific doubts uh, regarding the curriculum uh, as you start studying so what is the approach in a nutshell so uh, the about the exams the expected date and all is always informed well in advance around 15 days prior and i think so you need to cover the chapter before the teacher starts that chapter what does it mean so for example they are uh, teaching you general anatomy at this point of time so you should cover that like much earlier than the teacher so that and you can start the next chapter but you will be thinking how to read the whole book and like so much bulky book and text so fast um because you would already be struggling na so for that i have a strategy for you complete all the videos plus note making of those videos um in 2 to like 3 months maximum so if it is september right now like almost october since then october november december you can complete whole videos it is not very difficult to complete if you are dedicatedly uh, completing those and studying those then start the book reading and revising afterwards because this is also like self tested strategy you can uh, test yourself with one to two chapters because when you will complete it now you will get to know uh, like when you will complete the whole chapter from the video and then start the book and then start reading the book you will be uh, like very much assured that once my syllabus is completed now i am just revising and reviewing that again so that would be your second revision kind of thing i think so this strategy will help you a lot and if it helps you then please share it with your friends because everyone needs help at this point of time and sharing is caring